What is up everyone, we are back for more Mario stuff, and as we take on Dark Depths, you may be thinking that I was lost in the Dark Depths because uh, I have been MIA, at least when it comes to Mario stuff, for a bit. I have, uh, I have a Fire Flower, nice. I have, uh, been dealing with a lot of work stuff and personal stuff, though I did upload the, uh, okay, I apparently already did part of this level in the past, okay. But, um... I did upload the first episode of the Axe Plays Classic series, a guided walkthrough series where I will be covering games that I've played throughout my life and that I'm personally a fan of. The first game I'm covering is Buster Bust Loose, a great platformer for the Super Nintendo. Hope you will uh, check out that video and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna be covering a lot of games in that series in the future. But I have also been doing a lot of stuff for work. I uh, may have mentioned this in a past video, but I am pretty much doing full-time work for uh, two companies now. Which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Keeps me uh, a little bit busier, but it uh, is very nice financially. And it also gives me the opportunity to expand my resume, my portfolio, and all of that good stuff. So I am definitely not complaining there. Have also been making plans to fall in a hole, and have also been making plans to move, hopefully uh, within the next month or two. I mentioned in the past that Fizz and I were uh, looking at places and trying to set up a studio to make recording and uh, things like that for our channels easier, and he has found a pretty sweet place. I have been trying to get things sorted out here at the apartment complex. Things have changed a bit. If you have been following the saga of the apartment complex that I have talked about in Mario Hack videos throughout the years, you will know that uh, recently there was talks of new management coming in. New management has indeed came in, and I wish them the best. I have no ill will towards the place. I have ill will towards that platform for causing me to die, but I have no ill will towards the place, but I am ready to move on to bigger and better things. So... Hooray for that. If you hear some noise in the background, I do have uh, Monday Night Raw on. And there are some people yelling outside. Maybe maybe they are watching Raw too. And maybe they are happy that, uh, you know, there's some interesting stuff going on there. Hopefully this trend keeps up. And WWE doesn't blow it and dash our hopes and dreams as they have done sometimes before. But that is not me throwing off on WWE because a lot of shows have done that in the past. And some of them have recovered. And some of them never did. They just blew it and never really never really got back on track, but sometimes that happens. Okay, this uh this looks like a pretty interesting maze level. Or maze portion of the uh of the level. Man, there is super noise either like <laughs> either next door or outside. I don't know what's going on, but I will uh I will exercise what little bit of authority I do have left here. And uh, telling people to please pipe down shortly if things uh, if things get too crazy out of control. Oh man, I have a lot to do tomorrow. I'm uh, actually going to try to do tomorrow's work and the next day's work tomorrow because uh, Wednesday I am actually going to be heading on a trip. It is uh, to a different state. That sucked. It's to a different state. My brother is making the trip and uh, asked me if I would like to come along, and uh, I probably will. It'd be good to go on a little trip and uh, accompany him. I really don't think he wants to go alone. It's something for his work, and it's times like this that uh, I feel really fortunate to be able to work from home, because let me tell you, it is uh, it is really cool. I really enjoy it, being able to... Uh, I say that I get to wake up whenever I want, but that's not always the case. You know, I'm not sleeping till... 2 and 3 p.m. every day, uh, unless I stay up to like 4 or 5 a.m. working, which I try not to do that anymore. I try to keep myself on a regular sleep schedule, but it's good to know that uh, if I want to switch my schedule around and, like I said, cram two days of work into one day so I can give myself an impromptu day off, I have the ability to do that. And it's, uh, it is really nice, let me tell you. Oh, man. What else has been going on? I need to go to the uh, to the optometrist soon because the glasses I am currently wearing are uh, are not technically 
prescribed to uh, my current state of vision, I guess you could say. <laughs> I, uh, these are an older pair of glasses, and I need to actually go get new glasses and new contact lenses because I usually wear contacts, but sometimes I like to wear glasses, and uh, it all just depends. Some people prefer glasses to contacts if they are driving or if they are reading or something. Uh, with me, I prefer glasses if I'm too lazy to put my contacts in that day. <laughs> Even though in the past I was pretty good at it, I hadn't actually worn my contacts regularly, regularly, excuse me, <laughs> in a while, but uh, hopefully I will, uh, I will be able to acclimate to shoving bits of uh, material into my eyeballs again, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, this, uh, this guy's design is getting pretty darn intricate here, if I do say so myself. Huh, that lotus flower got owned. Oh no, okay, I was gonna say, I might have got owned there. Oh, phew. Don't tell me that we are... Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me that I'm gonna have to go find a bajillion more P-switches and springboards and stuff. There was only one hack that uh, I think ever really uh, kind of wore at the welcome of the whole find this to find that gimmick. And even SSOHPKC, who inspired me to do these Mario hacks as, I guess, impromptu vlogs uh, sort of deal. Are you serious? Okay, hang on. Huh. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. I am, uh, I am hoping. What in the heck? Okay. Maybe, uh, okay, I guess we are, uh, we are on the right track here. Get away from me, football. It's not even football season. Is it football season? I don't think it's football season. I don't really follow football. I follow MMA. Uh, Jones beat, uh, OSP. And Mighty Mouse retained. Man, Mighty Mouse is ridiculously good. Not taking anything away from OSP or John Jones. I know John Jones had to kind of shake off the ring rust, but man... Mighty Mouse is easily one of the best fighters of all time. When you look at the level of competition that guy has faced in his division, people could say it's a shallow division all they want. I don't think it's promoted all that well, but it is uh, It is certainly not a pushover division. Um, I completely lost my train of thought of what I was talking about before this, but hopefully I will, uh, hopefully I will get it back soon. Hopefully I will not run into any more Goombas. Okay. Silver P-Switch. That guy did not uh, turn into a coin because he is dead. He is uh, vibrating as he falls. That looks pretty creepy. Okay, what uh, what are we doing here? Okay. Uh, this uh, this design is getting pretty darn intricate. Okay, we are uh, we are definitely uh, we are definitely in Clapper Maze territory. Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, the P-Switch or find a P-Switch to find a shell sort of puzzles. Uh, and it was uh, an SMWC production, and don't get me wrong, it was a great hack, had a really interesting story, tons of custom work, and... Okay, that was weird. I wonder if I could have just fallen. But it had tons of custom work, uh, all sorts of cool sprites and uh, connections to other games and whatnot, a great story, great music. But man, like, every other level in that game was like, find this to find that, and, you know, even SSOH PKC who, and he played, like, Kaizo and Luigi's Adventure and all these other hacks that were known to be difficult, and even he, uh, he had said that, yeah, it was, it was kind of overdoing it with the puzzle aspect. Okay, we were in the outer core before, and now we are in the inner core, so, uh, we are making progress. But yeah, man, I cannot wait to move. It's gonna be great, uh, may not move, uh, as soon as this leasing period ends, I may actually go crash somewhere else in the interim while I am getting my stuff together. And okay, the uh, music just kicked up a notch. That was a little bit unexpected, but whatever. I will turn around to see what's going on on uh, Raw. It is a commercial. Great. Ah, my favorite part of uh, any show, the commercials. But we have to have advertising in the world. Because how else will we know what to buy and what to do and what to think? I'm just being, uh, I'm just being silly now. My loyal minions, to reach Bandaged Island, watch the skulls at the bottom of the mantle after you get off. You must be small, okay? You must go in small. Going in small. Ha ha. Leave a, uh, leave a big space there for bad jokes. Okay, this is, uh, this is kind of an interesting little area. Nice, uh, nice change. Will this hurt me? Yeah, I know that will hurt me, but, uh, will this hurt? Okay. Stuff doesn't hurt. 
I see, uh, I don't know what I thought I was going to do there. But, uh, I see, like, spiky textures and immediately think, uh, death. And, of course, I see skull and crossbones and immediately think danger. But it was, uh, not dangerous at all. The thwomps were dangerous. These little, uh, floating PlayStation controller symbols, they are dangerous, but, uh, not everything is out to get me. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, that guy was out to get me. See, every time I say that, something happens. Uh, I think, uh, Sky commented on one of my previous videos where I was, I said everything, uh, everything in this hack is trying to kill me. And, like, as soon as I said that, a bowling ball fell out of the sky onto Mario's face. And, uh, I was like, yep, perfect timing. But we, uh, we recently did our first, okay, end of the stage, nice. Uh, Sky and I recently did our first co-op video of, uh, Dungeon Defenders, so you guys can also check that out in addition to the first episode of Axe Plays Classics. If you would, uh, if you would like to, I would definitely appreciate it. And we are officially at Bowser's Valley, and, uh, we are gonna go ahead and stop here, and when we come back, we will take on Bowser's Boiler 1. Thanks for watching, guys.